Good Saturday morning to you. I'm Eastern PA Weather Authority meteorologist Bobby Martrich. This is your outlook for the weekend, November 16th and November 17th, 2013. Uh, we're starting off the GFS today, and this is actually this morning's GFS. Uh, what we're looking at today is high pressure sitting way off here in the in the Atlantic here. Uh, but one thing that's going to do is allow the flow to become more southerly and southwesterly, and that's going to allow the temperatures to warm up nicely here on Saturday across our coverage area. And uh, this is all in advance of a, a cold front that's going to be pressing through uh, Sunday night and early Monday morning. Now, this, as far as this uh, system is concerned, uh, there's some timing differences as far as precipitation is concerned, uh, but not any big, anything big, grand scale timing differences. Uh, we have some very light precipitation that the uh, uh, the GFS and the European model are suggesting in this area here, moving in in the afternoon and evening. So we're going to allow for a spotty shower, a pop up shower here across our coverage area, uh, especially in the western sections here on Sunday. And uh, as we go a little bit forward in time here, here Sunday evening, it's still really light stuff here showing here over Pennsylvania. So you might have a pop-up shower as uh, in advance of the system. The system's actually up here in the Great Lakes. is going to move off to the northeast and drag a cold front with it uh, that's actually sitting down here like this. It's going to be a very powerful cold front with some very, uh, very strong, just severe storms in this area here. Uh, but I think because of the timing of when it's coming through overnight, we, although we will get some thunderstorms, we don't expect them to be uh, severe on a grand scale because there's coming most of that activity is coming overnight Sunday night and early early Monday morning when the dynamics are, are there. But uh, you don't have the heating of the day to really drive these severe thunderstorms. But we'll keep an eye on it uh, nonetheless. This uh, system then we expect to uh, move through here. Here's Sunday night. Here's early Monday morning at 7 a.m. So you can see most of the activity is gone at this point. Uh, low pressure has moved up way up here into southeastern Canada. And then if we go a little bit forward in time here, cold front moves through, and then the winds are going to shift once again back to northwest. You can see that by the uh, position of the isobars here. Winds coming in from the northwest at this point, and then temperatures will drop both Tuesday and Wednesday. Uh, we're not expecting any precipitation beyond this point as we go uh, straight through uh, the middle of the week here. But as we get towards next weekend, uh, we'll have another system here probably on Friday that's going to affect us. So just some uh, some rain that's going to move through as the temperatures moderate once again. Taking a look at the bigger scale here, here's the uh, European model, and this is the uh, this is a departure from normal. Oops, this is the departure from normal that we're looking at on Saturday. Uh, you see these reds and yellows and oranges here. This is indicating above normal uh, temperatures at 850 millibars, which is about uh, almost 5,000 feet above the surface. And I see really uh, as you get into the Sunday, Monday time frame and, and ahead of that cold front here, Sunday, Sunday night is going to be well above normal as far as temperatures are concerned. But then behind it, here's that cold shot moving through. And you can see that here with the greens and blues, this is actually below normal temperatures at 850 millibar. But uh, it's, it's short-lived. These are just transient shots of, uh, of shots of cold, and then it warms up again. So uh, we're going to be dealing with this for a while, we think. Uh, and as we head into the early part of December, temperatures slightly above normal as we get towards the end of next week. And then uh, you have another shot of cold air coming down here again as we head into next weekend. So, uh, and here the European model showing that. It's actually a pretty dramatic uh, shot of cold air here showing here next weekend. But uh, uh, at this range, we really like to buy into like these long cold shots because they uh, sometimes they tend to moderate as we get closer to the event. But right now it's showing some very, very cold uh, temperatures for this time of year as we head into next weekend. So we'll cross that bridge when we get there. In the meantime, we do have the winter outlook uh, that is out and released. If you want to take a look at that under the seasonal outlooks tab next to the video here, and then click on the first entry, which is the Eastern PA Weather Authority 2013-2014 winter outlook. And has been very popular. You guys actually crashed our server last night trying to get on it, which is pretty amazing. But uh, I guess that's a good thing. We'll just have to go to a, a better server. Uh, we're already on a VPS now, but uh, we'll probably have to go to our own dedicated server, at least for the winter, winter months, it looks like, just to handle the traffic since you guys are so eager to come on our site. We thank you for that. In the meantime, have a great weekend. I'm Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Marchers. This is your outlook for the weekend, November 16th and November 17th, 2013. Have a good one.